Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Two Drink Minimum, the only podcast that fearlessly, fearlessly reminds you Jeffrey Epstein didn't kill himself. The gentleman in front of me doesn't need an introduction, so I'm not going to go to him yet. I'm going to go to this fucking asshole next to me, notorious shirt thief, Derek Sagan. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Derek, welcome. Thank you. Comedian extraordinaire. Mikey boy. Mike Ward, are we gonna are, are we gonna introduce uh, the retard next to you? Mikey boy, I'm happy I'm Mikey boy now. This guy, well, hello there, folks. What's wrong with you? I'm yeah. very upset with you. Why? Why, why are you acting uh, weird? Weird. Yeah, I think he looks weird. Great. Is my state of being. <laughs> Did you go vegan or like keto or something? You look youthful. Yeah, he yeah. shaved. You look like you're in uh, healthy. Yeah, he looks good when when uh you know when it, I shave. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna shave again. And it looks years. like you're 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 getting a real man beard now. Like it yeah. used to be, you just had the weird like uh, thick mustache and but. Well, I feel like I've gone through thick. a second puberty. But I'm getting hairs skin in is healthy places though and everything. Yeah, you know? yeah, you're looking good. Hair is vibrant. It's all the gist. How old yeah. are you, Poseidon? What? How old are you? That's uh, I don't say. Oh, really? Thirty-eight. Really? You don't say how old you are. Thirty-eight. Yeah, you look fantastic. No, no, hold no, 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 he's, he's 26. He's, he's 20, 26. 26. Oh, you might want to fucking rethink some Yeah, things. yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. he does look fantastic for... for I'm not even, yeah. he, looks, he looks really good for 42. Yeah. <laughs> really good for 42. 38. Yeah, okay. Sure, sure. Yeah. 26. I believe 38 because yeah. I, I followed him up the stairs what and you can't help fuck? but see, but he's wearing yeah. trousers. I'm like, yeah. fuck, he can't be in his 20s. <laughs> trousers? No yeah, fucking 20-year-olds wear trousers. Oh, it's my work pants. That's yeah. work It's my work pants. You're 26. But you look divorced. That's yeah. yeah. That's your Tinder bio. Yeah, you got your fucking uh, two alimony payment. You know what I noticed? Yeah. The patch under my chin, it looks like the state of Texas. All right, here we go. Well, here it, we uh, go with the riveting podcast. Yeah, the, the patch right. under under his yeah. skin there doesn't like black people. It looks like <laughs> India. It looks yeah. like India. <laughs> it looks like Texas. What does that mean? Can I see? Doesn't look like it that. doesn't. It looks like someone punched you in the fucking chin a bunch of times, <laughs> and a, then you stop growing hair. A triangular yeah. fist, like a, with a small, small fist. <laughs> oh, before I forget, I gotta tell you what I saw on the way here when I was driving um, around the corner, selling around. There was a homeless guy. I assume he's homeless. You tell me if you think he's homeless from what I saw. It's raining outside. He was sitting on the corner and he had nuts on the floor and he was smashing the nuts and he was eating them on the concrete. Oh, <laughs> that guy fucking. <laughs> I hope he's homeless. But... Yeah. Or he doesn't give a fuck. He like looked he, messy though. Yeah. He was just sitting there smashing he's punching. and punching. It's like on a, the wet a ground. Meta, a on metaphor the wet ground. for homophobia. Yeah. yeah. He's smashing nuts. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. And then you know eating what you think? them. Then eating them. Because all homophobics are closeted gay people, right? That's so what they say. A, I'm pretty a sure. Metaphor for homophobia. I'm smashing nuts, but I'm eating them too. <laughs> I don't know if all homophobes are, but I think most of them, like, I think Mike Pence might be a homosexual. Yeah. You think? I, I, dude, you think what? that you electrocute gay people, they become straight? We, you don't think that's weird? We used to always, you know, say that, that homophobes were all closet gay guys. I don't think all. But, but, if if you were a closet a guy in the closet, I I'd never talk about gay people. Yeah. So because I'd be like, then people are gonna know. Like you're not gonna be like those goddamn gays. Yeah, yeah. I'd be afraid. I'd go. I'd pretend, go like those that it don't sexy exist. bastards. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just gonna walk in here with that juicy cock, <laughs> sir. What? what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're yelling, and they're like, sir, you shouldn't yell about gays when you're wearing sweatpants. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just a hard erection. <laughs> dick is, he's got the pre cum showing through the sweatpants. So, Derek, what have you been up to apart from stealing sweaters? What? Uh... <laughs> I didn't steal it. You left it. Like, if I can snooze, you lose. It is and, true. I lost my sweater. But it's Derek's funny. You said, I knew I was coming today. And my daughter woke up for school this morning and she had a black champion. <laughs> and he grabbed her by the hair. And I'm like, where did you get that? She's like, it's Emma's. It's my friend Emma's. And I look at the size. And I'm like, medium. Fuck That's me. not me. There's no way this is, no way this is Pantelis. <laughs> Where'd you forget the shirt? At his house. At his house. Okay. Uh, uh, in he, my new Shangri-La, you came and saw there. Yeah, yeah. In Shangri-La, yeah. it's so comfortable in yeah. there that he just started taking off his clothes. Yeah, oh, left. A, a what now? Shangri-La. It's a, I just I spent the whole summer redoing my backyard, and then we nicknamed it Shangri-La, which means uh, imaginary paradise or something like that. I don't oh, know. Shit. Dave, do you know what Shangri-La means? It sounds Sri Lankan. In what language? Sri Lankan. <laughs> it, it is some Shangri-La. Yeah. It's like a Buddhist uh, Shangri-La, uh, like a the level of enlightenment or something like oh, that. Oh shit! But, you know, like when you hit that. Like, I don't place, speak rice. Yeah. That fit. What <laughs> the fuck? I eat it. Oh my god! 
I'm shocked. That joke was for him. <laughs> <laughs> so, goddamn, it's been a whole week, Mike. And a lot has changed in a week. You guys only do this what? once a week? Once a week. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What What's changed in the last week? I almost, uh, I almost killed myself on the way to Texas because it was fucking insane. Okay. But I talked about that so people know. I talked about on the live stream. Yeah. But then I want to say a thank you to everyone who came out on Saturday to Quebec City. Your people. Yeah, you were you you sold out an English show in Quebec City. Super nice. Everyone who came out, <laughs> super, super good people. Two Drink Minimum fans. They couldn't have been nicer. And they were down for everything. The harder I'd go, the crazier I'd go with the jokes. The more laughs, like they were oh, just, nice. they were Mike Ward, they were ready. They were Mike Ward level people. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Was that, your, you, you'd been to Quebec City, right? I haven't been to Quebec City since I was in the sixth grade. Okay. So yeah. you went just to visit the Chateau Frontenac and take pictures. Yeah, yeah, in the sixth with grade. With the Bonhomme yeah. Carnaval. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> okay. And then I haven't been back since. And now I regret not going back. What a beautiful place. Oh, yeah. And roads, no potholes. Yeah. The I'm roads shocked. are nice. Yeah. <laughs> They're made of potholes, the roads there. It's all fucking yeah. cobblestone. Yeah. It's just <laughs> That's a the... bunch of potholes streamed together. Where did you guys, did, <laughs> did you guys sleep or you just No, drove, drove back, out. came back. Okay. Thank God we didn't sleep. People were sending me messages wanting to have sex with Poseidon, so he would have been... He would have been having sex with fans the whole time. Really? Because they thought he was 38. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he was 26. I want a mature man. <laughs> yeah, I want a sugar daddy. They find out he's 26 and he's been living on his own for three months. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. Best three months of my life, by the way. Yeah. You've been having fun, huh? Oh, fuck. And that fucking bald patch is from jerking yeah. off so much and hitting himself <laughs> shit with his fucking toxic fucking Putin gum. Oh, he was woken up violently last night. By no, who? this morning. Oh, it was this morning? That 10 a.m., bro. <laughs> By who? 10 a.m. I'm sleeping. I hear an alarm go off. I'm like, what the fuck? My alarm isn't for 11, and it doesn't sound like that. I got up out of bed. I'm like, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> I look. <laughs> My alarm doesn't sound like that. <laughs> <laughs> but the first thing you told yourself is, I don't have to get up. But then it was, that's not my alarm. <laughs> Whoa, hold on, because it's hot. <laughs> so if your neighbor makes like popcorn in the microwave and you hear beep, 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 you open your microwave and you're like, I, I didn't make popcorn. But anything. I was like, <laughs> like when I, I'm, I'm, I'm not a morning person at all. So when I sleep, I'm you're like, barely a person. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> I'm really groggy. I'm that kind of morning person. You're a, mo like, a morning biped. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> morning what? A, a biped. biped. Oh, yeah. like an animal that stands on its hind legs? Yeah. <laughs> You're uh, a minotaur. Wow, yeah. that's pretty uh, yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I open my door because I like to sleep in complete darkness. I fucking <laughs> love that shit. <laughs> Why are you laughing? That's the most uh, yeah. other people who like fucking bright yeah. lights. Yeah, yeah, yeah like a fucking light them. right in my face when I'm sleeping. Going to sleep now. Hit the spotlights. Yeah. Usually, <laughs> oh, you, usually people sleep with night lights. I heard. When I but started, I that children shit. that are scared yeah. of the dark, you fucking oh. idiot. Oh, <laughs> when I first started making money, I bought a tanning bed to sleep in it. <laughs> I heard that people yeah. like to sleep with night lights. Like you had a, con I had yeah. a conversation with this cool dude. He must have been like eight. Cool <laughs> <laughs> we were drinking out of the juice box. Yeah. He gave me some grape juice. He's like, oh, I got a nightlight. You don't got one, buddy. People, people tell me. People tell who tells you they sleep with a nightlight. Well, All like right. when I when so I whose alarm was it? Let's get to that. So, yeah. uh, so I stumble out of bed. I stumble, stumble. out of bed. I open my door. I'm like, what the fuck? I see in my hallway a white light flashing. I'm like, what the fuck is happening, Grandma? Aliens? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck is happening? And then I, it's getting louder. I get closer. It says fire alarm. I'm like, oh, fuck. Put on some clothes. Get out. What it says. Like, there's you have a fucking... It's a, on the, on a the, little on the digital readout? No, no. It had like a... Because you know, like a like the, the fire he can, alarm? He can read sounds. <laughs> no. <laughs> he's no, you're listening. Like, bap, bap. Oh, shit. Bap, bap. That's a fire. <laughs> no, he's, bap, bap. He's like, mom? <laughs> mom? <laughs> no, no. Because you know, you know the thingamajig? The thing of course we know the yeah. thingamajig. The if we didn't know the thingamajig, would we be thinking about like, this? In usual, in regular apartments, you have the regular fire alarm, yeah. but it's a small com uh, thing, thing, thing. Okay, but like this is like very big because like it's like industrial level type shit, and like it's like a he fire lives alarm. in IKEA. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he lives in a warehouse, and then under it, there's a light, and it says fire alarm. Yeah. Okay. I think he's talking about the fan on top of his stove. <laughs> So what happened when you saw that? What'd you oh, do? so I freaked out. I put on some clothes fast, fast, stumble outside. But but you keep stumbling everywhere. Why don't you just walk? Because I was half asleep. So. Okay. So um, so I see people. 
uh, they're all calm. I'm like, what the fuck? These fucking idiots. There's a fire. <laughs> so I scream. I go, guys, there's a fucking fire. What are you doing? And they're just standing there. They're all staring at me like this. They're outside. Like, I'm the crazy person. Yeah, in the halls. So but what did you want them yeah. to do? Yeah. Guys, don't panic. There's a fucking fire. No, Stop running. But we're fucking a few floors up, bro. Like, go downstairs. Yeah, but that's not your choice to make. Yeah, if you, they they want to die, fuck them. Yeah, I guess. But anyway, so I but maybe they started the fire. And maybe nobody's seeing any fire at yeah. this point. You ever yeah. thought of that? Well, I, again, I was half asleep, so I run downstairs. How long does it take you to fully wake up? Oh, it takes like, <laughs> like you're still fucking, stumbling. Yeah. Okay, I got up, fucking got dressed. <laughs> there was an alarm. An alarm. I yelled alarm. at my neighbors. Yelled at my neighbors. Stumbled into the podcast studio. Yeah. <laughs> Four hours. And then later. I woke up. Thirty yeah, minutes. Yeah. Thirty minutes to an yeah. hour. Okay. To really fully like to wake up. Yes. You're like an old computer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're useless. Yeah. You're useless in 2019. You're like an old computer. Fuck. So if I, our podcasts were two, like instead of an hour and a half, if we did two hours, maybe he'd be the fucking smartest guy we've ever met. Yeah, just take him yeah. time to get yeah, into yeah. it. Yeah. It's just. Oh, so, guys, we entered hour two and he's talking to us about science. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> so I get downstairs and every, again, everyone's calm. I'm like, yo, what the fuck is happening? I'm like, oh, the lady was cooking fish. And that was it. The lady was cooking fish. Another great the, story. The lady. The lady. <laughs> the you know the lady. And then I go, which the lady? lady of the and then I go, lark. oh, it's the same lady every time. She, she, like, she, she, cooks she goes fish. crazy. She so she fish. cooks fish at four in the morning? What time was this at? This was, uh, I'm guessing she was cooking it at nine. 9.30 for the alarm to go Which is time. fish time. Good old. Wait, wait, the, <laughs> 10 a.m.? Go yeah. breakfast fish. What, what, what do you want for <laughs> breakfast? Can I get, you know, the, the usual. <laughs> Salmon, Salmon, fish, fish bombay. <laughs> <laughs> Cook fish. God damn it. It's an African lady and their main she, diet people, consists of fish and veggies. People must hate apparently. her at Jesus. the office. Christ, the, yeah. the building hates her apparently. Well, African from where? Africa's like the largest continent, no? Like fucking one, one of those jungle states or whatever, bro. <laughs> one of those jungle states wow. is that what you said well if she's states. from a jungle hold on if she's from a jungle then why is fish the main part of her diet yeah. she should be like one of the sea maybe Madagascar or some shit maybe I seashells guess. maybe do you seashells think, there's a place called do seashells do you think like when, when Canada sends a food to poor countries they drop fish <laughs> 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 <It's> <laughs> <our fault. laughs> they're flying over some fucking <laughs> shithole jungle just dropping fish <laughs> yeah. she's like she's, like, the, she's the, one the of the sky is blue <laughs> it's an ocean up there the fish are falling out because you could have lived when he said African, you could have also followed that up with, Mar uh, you know, she grew up in Morocco. And it, technically, you'd be right. Yeah. It's raining fish. You fuck. Everything goes <laughs> over your head. So good. <laughs> no, because you know the song? It's raining, man. Is that yeah, a song? Yeah, we yeah. knew it. Really? Like, Never heard that song. <laughs> Never. Not in my. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I haven't heard of that. So, one. yeah, that's that funny. Was... On that, that's my. So, Andy, you've met Andy, my little girl. Yeah. When she was like nine. She's in this dance school and they had a competition. They do competition, dance competitions, whatever. Not like fucking dance you know, fights yeah. or anything. But uh, <laughs> she's like nine years old and they had them, these little girl doing a, a dance routine to It's Raining Men. It's a bit much. That's a fucking I'm like, weird. What? Yeah, was the was the teacher just in the back maybe, jerking maybe, off? Maybe it's a test to see which of the dads was doing this. <laughs> 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 They're right. like, okay. Steve, <laughs> the police yeah, are here. It's raining, man. Yeah, that is weird, huh? Yeah, it is. I thought it was weird. Yeah, I, did you see any parents really for excited? nine year olds? It is a little weird. Just for nine year olds. What if they were eleven? No, no, no. At least eighteen. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. God yeah, damn it! Now it. we're making sure we don't get arrested. Good. I yeah, like it. Yeah. Fucking, yeah. And then instead of umbrellas, they have poles. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Anyway, yeah, I, thought that I don't really. I, did you I say something, or did you say something, or? I, <laughs> I, it's funny enough. So this dance school, among all the 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 dads, especially, it's like tobacco and This thing's costing us so much fucking yeah. money. It's stupid. Every costume. So I had to pay like ninety dollars for my daughter to be dressed up, Same like in a little she... slutty rain yeah. suit to see with a yellow umbrella. So I brought it up. <laughs> they hired me to do a fundraiser, or no, no, it was like a volunteer appreciation night for for the you can that when you i was did, there yeah you did it no i the year before okay i did no i did it that to the one you were at where i said what the fuck you and not and you make my daughter do a my yeah. 10 year old <laughs> do a fucking dance to it's raining men yeah, why am i paying for this why am i paying, yeah, why am i paying yeah. and not just paying but paying like fucking crazy yeah, you should like pay shit. me <laughs> that's and great everyone laughed everyone's like oh yeah that is kind of weird you figure though they should have Realize that before a comedian told them. 
Like, yeah. you should yeah. realize if you're like, uh, okay, yeah, maybe that's a little too much for a child. Yeah. The, luckily, the children didn't know, but yeah. it's only what I think it was only when I mentioned it that everyone was like, ha, ha, ha. oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> and they all look at that one parent, <clears throat> like, that's why you always take the fucking videos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it yeah. is dance is fucking expensive. Yeah. Like Reese was playing football, nothing compared to dance was more expensive dance. than what? football. Dude, dance is like easily ten thousand dollars a year. What? How, How much does ice hockey cost? We have to go to the competition, pay the hotel, pay the thing, pay the competition fee. Like I, I gave my daughter a check this morning for a thousand dollars for the next session, God and damn. there's three or four sessions per year. I yeah. want to start dancing. You want to throw some money my way? Yeah, that's it up. <laughs> And how good if is you, she? If you and Poseidon fucking <laughs> rehearse a duo, I will then, pay yeah, you a thousand dollars. But there has to be a lift. I don't care who lifts who. And what, what's fucked Jesus up to like if if you're if you have a kid that plays hockey or plays football and it costs you a couple grand a year, if they're really good and it, it's only expensive if they go out of the city. But if they're going out of the city, you're like one day maybe he'll be in the NFL or the NHL, make the but, money back. But yeah, but a, a professional dancer. Yeah, if she makes the make... money back dancing, then you haven't yeah. succeeded as a father. Yeah. Well, it depends on the kind of dancing. There's like artistic dancing. Well, he got what I meant. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, he was more saying it as a joke. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. I, I object. <laughs> actually, That's actually, right. not all dancers are whores. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, many strippers admire their fathers, you know? No. And do it just to feed the family. Fuck, I'd never even thought of that, to be honest. If she I does actually make money, like, yeah. you're like, son she, of a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> this is my fault. Yeah. I'm prep. Yeah. I'm paying a 10 grand a year for to prep, prep my daughter yeah. to be a slut. But and imagine she, she becomes like the number Number one, like yeah. people talk about her, like she's in the news, like yeah. firing ping yeah. pong balls out of her guns. And they no, make no, no, no. they make a documentary about her, and she's like, "I started yeah. doing this because my dad told me to always believe in my dreams." <laughs> <laughs> and it's Derek Red. He's like, "It's not what I meant." Yeah. Her bad. dreams first, are my nightmares. That was a bad dream. Yeah. <laughs> first time I made money with this when I was ten. My dad gave me a check for a thousand dollars. I remember the song. It's raining men. <laughs> yeah. Like Derek, the signs were all there. You're like, I fucking know. I, yeah. In retrospect, <laughs> cancel dance. <laughs> yeah. So football isn't expensive. No, nah, like four hundred bucks, and I bought him a helmet. I bought him shoulder pads, and still no nothing compared to dance. Dance is crazy. Sounds like a racket. Yeah. And like every year, they want you to buy like team gear so that they go off to the competition. They so they're the dressed same. the same. Yeah. So they're dressed the same. Yeah, and crazy. do you guys have to pay like the choreographer, like uh, the yeah? So you guys, if they want to do a solo, you have to pay the choreographer, uh, the competition team. Each competition, you first of all, the competition team, it's sixty whatever eight dollar a month every month. Okay, and then the that and then because you're on that team, the competition team, you have to you're obliged to take three classes per session, like ballet. They want every kid to do ballet, so those are like three hundred something dollar each session. So, uh, so yeah, he could also God, not even damn. get a side thousands job. Thousands of dollars. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, thousands of dollars. She doesn't even have time. To, yeah, she doesn't even have time to get a part-time job to pay for it because she has to take all these classes. Yeah. And I feel like She's my, not ten, my his girlfriend daughter? is probably texting oh, her right now. Not ten. And don't forget to tell them about. Oh shit! It's my. <laughs> it's the raining men kid. Oh really? She's like, I've been watching the fucking live stream. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Stop it, daddy. Yeah. yeah. Now my friends are calling me a stripper. You shut your fucking <laughs> shut your fucking mouth, dad. Do you think? Do you think we have a lot of 10 year olds that listen to two drink minimum though? I have no idea. I have no idea. It'd be I weird if finding... we found out it was just 10 year olds. <laughs> oh, oh, I yeah. gotta give a shout. I keep forgetting to give a shout out to the guy at the security thing at the airport. He watches us. I was oh, walking sure. by. He nice. knows. Nice. Yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah. Oh, shit. This, well, this is on that subject. I was going to Vegas last week or two weeks ago. And uh, everyone's out. Like when I went to do America's Got Talent. Uh, I was just enthusiastic. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm going to do America's Got Talent. So at the border, at the customs guy is like, where are you going? I'm, I'm doing America's Got Talent this year. And they're like, all right, you go fucking sit in that room. Oh, yeah. Like until 30 seconds yeah. before your plane yeah. takes off. I was like, Ugh. So now I learned anytime I go to the States, just yeah. never. Why are you I'm, here? No, I'm on vacation. Vacation. He's like, I'm going to Vegas. And he's like, yeah. uh, what's the reason of your visit? I'm like, dude, it's Vegas. I'm going to yeah. Vegas. And he's like, oh, you're not doing a show? And I'm like, no. And well, he's he like, well, you should. You're very funny. This is an American customs guy. I was never yeah. expecting. Like when I'm 
in America, I'm I'm acting did like you just tell an him, did unemployed you play asshole. When he was like, you should go, like, should funny enough to vote for me if <laughs> yeah. I get on a certain TV <laughs> show? <laughs> this was a different trip. Yeah. It was a different trip. I wasn't doing the contest this time. Yeah. C can you talk about that? Because it was fucking weird when you did uh, America's uh, Got Talent. Yeah. I, I know you, the story you, and it makes me angry yeah. for the record. Because you, uh, do you want to talk about that or no? I don't know if I'm allowed, but yeah, I can talk about it. Okay. Because, yeah. So, so you, show we have here. you do, uh, you do, uh, America's Got Talent, mm -hmm. and then you kill it, mm -hmm. and then everyone votes you in to the next round? Yeah, all four judges unanimous okay. go through. I got a standing ovation in the live audience. Oh, shit. And I was the last person on of that day, and they do two block of like three and a half, four hours. So everyone was tired. So people were there for like fucking eight hours. God damn. Yeah. And I still, I got a standing ovation, four yeses, and then, yeah, no, we had to cut you So off. what happened? So they, they, they tell you... You're going to you're going to Vegas. You're going to Vegas. You're going to or you're or you're going to, going to LA. Or, LA at, okay. Uh, you're going to New York. Okay. Tend to do it at the I don't know. And then uh, so but then you do the interview with uh, who was hosting at the time? Tyra Banks. Okay. So then she's like, "Hey, this is so cool. You're going to New York." Yeah. Uh, and so you do the interview saying you're going to New York. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I was so like, in, I was it's fucking. They draw. I was there for eight hours too, right? So they got you doing all this bullshit stuff, like fake reality. Like, oh, yeah, okay, yeah. ask him this question, but that. Oh, can you walk around like really wringing your hands and pulling your hair? Oh, they uh, make people do that shit. Uh -huh. Yeah. So this, when did you drop the? This is the probably envelope? exactly the stuff that I'm not supposed to talk about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but then, uh, and then, Ty, when, it, when it was finished, I just you know when you walk off stage, you're still trying to process. Did that go good? What did I like? What did? And she's like, "Hey, so how do you feel?" I'm like, I don't know. "Holy shit, are you ever tall?" That's the only thing that came out of my head. And she's like, "Yeah, I know, I'm pretty tall." Hey, give us a hug. Uh, and then over the next week, they're like, "Okay, so the, for the next round, you want to send us what you're gonna do?" I'm like, "Yeah, okay, I'll send you something." Uh, and they're like, okay, we need to do a conference call. We'll talk about it on whatever, f eight o'clock on uh, Thursday. And I'm like, well, I'm going to be on stage then. I can't talk then. Okay, well, how about the Monday at uh, 4 p.m.? And I'm like, oh, I'm going to be on a plane, so I can't talk then. And then the next call, I got, I'm like, no, you're not, you're not available enough. We're just going to, oh, we've shit. had to, we've had to go another direction. Oh, that. really? Yeah. You're not available enough emotionally yeah, and that's what that's what i kind of emotionally that's <laughs> that's what i didn't play the game right is the yeah because you didn't Cause talk about like uh uh you know an uncle with cancer and my my dad doesn't have feet you right. know you have to be like kind of <laughs> right. sad and yeah you yeah. know and I, I, what, I was in the middle of a tour at that time, so every time they would ask me questions, you're like, "It's going great! I'm, I'm fucking, so lucky! This I'm is doing this. Yeah. Yeah. So you're too I'm happy doing a them. soft seater. Oh. No Canadian comic tours soft seaters except for me. Great. I'm the best." <laughs> <laughs> Next time, now you know. If anybody asks, you go. I was molested. I like, should have talked about. Yeah. Well, I yeah, that too. Yeah. I could have <laughs> even even the real things. I could have been like, oh, my dad is dead, and he would have loved to see this, yeah. and my daughter suffering yeah. with mental illness, so it's really hard to be away. Imagine your daughter yeah. sitting, sitting there watching with her friends. What the fuck did he just say? <laughs> what the fuck did he just say? Yeah. I think and he why, called you a retard. And why is he? <laughs> why is he saying it to that guy from Glee? Yeah. That's weird. <laughs> It's oh, the last time I eat light bulbs in this house. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, how like how long did it take for them to tell you we're gonna go? Uh... Like f four calls, like four exchange okay. that I was like, oh, I can't do it then, but I could do it here. And okay, I was very available, but yeah. And then... but just you couldn't cancel shows that the tickets were sold. Right. Why would you yeah. well, cancel for a conference call? That's insane. Yeah. 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 And I'm like, don't worry, it's gonna be fine. And yeah. they're like, Ugh. and yeah. Anyway, my experience was that uh, you know. First of all, it's like these 22 year olds that are all the uh, associate producers or whatever that are running yeah. all the behind the scene B roll. Yeah. And like, we, you guys know what's riveting and the, the show does well. So I guess they do, but it's so contrived. And was, was how, that's, that's what, how it is for all those award yeah. shows. It's all kids. Whose stomach made that sound? <laughs> It made a weird was it you? Fucking, God was it you? Damn it! What happened? Was I, know that. I thought it was something in yeah. my headphones. I was like, I thought God it was something damn. in my headphones. Look I at heard it. of. <laughs> Did you fart internally? Me too. I look at PI. Yeah, I'm like, uh, I think there's some feedback from someone. Yeah, I thought it was like the headphones are fucking up. God, God damn. damn it! We all heard it. That was yeah. Oh my God. I was hoping you guys did it. The it, mic picked it yeah. up. The yeah. mic picked up and, internal sounds. And this mic, like you could have people yelling Next under the table, we wouldn't hear it. Uh, God what damn it! 
What is happening? God, Did you man. eat that lady's fish? What was yeah. going on? Yeah. What's happening? It sounded like he 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 ate a lizard and the lizard didn't die, so he's screaming for help. God, damn it! You've been eating road peanuts again. What happened? I had lunch with my my friend. Oh, on it the just street. means I'm hungry. You know, it'd be funny if we find out after it was his dad. Yeah. <laughs> the people are stupid. It's easier to break nuts yeah. on the sidewalk. Oh God. God damn. No, I'm just hungry. We're only 20 minutes in. I've already yeah. hit my two drink minimum. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny that he, I'm just hungry. Are you okay, bro? No, I'm 20, fine. You can handle this 20 minutes. You're yeah, fine. no, no. Yeah. It's just, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to suffer. It's just my body of saying, like, bro, I'm fucking hungry. I'm not going to suffer. Well, clearly you are because that's not a normal sound. Yeah. Like, I don't. I, no, it doesn't hurt. If I'm hungry, that's I don't think you'd be able to hear it. That's your stomach, like, yelling for help. <laughs> for the record, I'm that's, still doing my yeah. fast, right? So I can't eat till 4 p.m. I haven't mm -hmm. eaten. Since yesterday at around 6 p.m. Yeah. Hmm. My I stomach hasn't made any type of noise. I have, yeah, I haven't eaten <laughs> since yesterday either. I think you may have just shit your pants. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Trust me, I didn't. You'd be yeah. dying right now. Yeah. Of laughter? No, no, no. <laughs> Actual <laughs> suffocating. Have, no, but we've been uh, in the you're room. You're wearing slacks. Yeah, <laughs> we've been in the cute. same room as you when you did shit your pants. Yeah. So you, you, like, generally you say something like that to people that have never seen you shit your pants. <laughs> we were there. I fucking paid you to shit your pants. <laughs> Mike reminded so me I of know. something. You reminded me of something. I got to tell you. I, I was like, I, I got to remember to tell Mike, and now you just brought it in my head. So I had the trip from hell, right, getting down right. to Texas. And I was talking to him about it, and someone asked me, what did he say? Can you sleep on the plane? I go, no, I'm too tall. It's very uncomfortable. I can't sleep. And then Poseidon chimes in. He's like, I don't sleep on planes either. Why? Because last time I fell asleep <laughs> on a plane, this is what he told me. Last time in front of a guy, last time I fell asleep on, I missed uh, on my a plane, stop. you know, it was too embarrassing. <laughs> It was too embarrassing because I'm like, oh my god, what happened? He's like, I was drooling, and then I woke up. I was like, oh my god, I was drooling. So I was so embarrassed, I can never sleep on planes. I go, you were embarrassed drooling while asleep on a plane, yeah? But you shit yourself on camera. Yeah. <laughs> you shit yourself on camera, and that's fine. But like, but we're drooling on a plane when I'm sleeping, and that's why I draw the yeah. line. So if you had shat your pants on the plane, you'd be like, no, that's good, bro. <laughs> At no. least I wasn't drooling. How yeah, much did no, you pay? Because the shitting was himself. intentional. Uh, we pay. I because uh, at first he told us he uh, we wanted to make him eat ten pounds of food, and I said I'll I'll give you a thousand dollars if you eat, or uh, yeah, it was I'll give you a thousand dollars if you eat ten pounds of food. And then he came back and he was like, I checked and apparently it's dangerous. And then we were like, okay, but here's the trick. There's a loophole. If you shit your pants while you're eating. You, you can fit make more, more room so you can get the 10 pounds of food in. And then I was like, if you eat 10 pounds of food, and if you shit your pants, I'll give you 2,000. <laughs> and if you eat the 10 pounds of food, I'll give you an extra 1,000. So you collect three Gs in one Yeah. Sitting. And then finally, he didn't eat the, all the food, but, but he, he shit did himself. shit his pants for two grand. That's pretty good. Yeah. It's a good payday. Yeah. yeah. Mm. But you can tell I have I've way, got, way too dance? much disposable. Like, <laughs> yeah. like I don't have kids with like, dance classes. I've got a new dance yeah. season coming yeah. up. If you want me, I can yeah. just shit. If, I can, maybe I'll do. I'll piss my pants for, if, for, for uh, two hundred bucks. If the little kids could shit their pants instead of uh, dance, I, I might be in. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? That's where he draws lines. Like ugh, drooling, so unbecoming. Yeah. What about shitting your pants? I'm a businessman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it'd be crazy to find out that that that's a family business too <laughs> it's how his ancestors made money i thought poseidon was gonna say i'm afraid to sleep on the plane i don't want to miss my stop yeah that, that sounds like something because well, the, the way i see it is when like, not enough lights on the plane on, for you to sleep the drooling yeah. was unintentional so it's, it shows like did you fall asleep yeah because it was dark because the way I picture you, you're like a bird. <laughs> so if someone puts the shutters down, you just fall asleep. Somebody puts a towel over his head. Like, oh, just, like, don't dark. do that, dude. <laughs> you're like an owl. <laughs> Who? Exactly. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, the way I see it is like the drooling wasn't, it wasn't, inten uh, it was unintentional. Right. So I see it as like, you don't got your shit together. Because you chose you to don't, shit your pants. You don't got your shit together? So like you're out of so control. If, if you were like fucking, so people that know where they're going, don't drool when they, like Oprah doesn't drool. When <laughs> no, 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 I just see it as like a. Unbecoming. Know. Yeah. Like but a like, goddamn failure. But like if I had shit by mistake my pants, you know what I mean? that would have been super embarrassing. Okay, so this Poseidon, he's on the plane, he's drooling, okay, he gets up what? embarrassed. Like, oh, oh, this is embarrassing. Oh, shit, I'm sorry. Guys, I don't normally do this. I'm sorry. You want something cool? Look at this video of me shit my pants. I'm telling you, I'm a cool dude. I don't normally do this. 
No, no, no. Don't judge me. I did this on purpose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was on purpose. I shit my pants on yeah. purpose. Not was, like one of those other assholes shitting their pants by yeah. mistake. If it was fucking an accident, losers. that's yeah. fucking embarrassing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a fucking clown, guys. I did it on purpose. I made dollar bills. <laughs> God, you were gonna say Watch something. me suck yeah, these nine know. cocks on purpose yeah. too. It's great. <laughs> Mike Ward's got a weird sense of humor. Yeah. Yeah. Made five hundred bucks per cock. I like the the fact that you think that if it was on on purpose, it's less embarrassing. It's not gay, bro. It's business. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, I'm a businessman. <laughs> oh, I'm building an empire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just oh, like just small did. You're, yeah. you're building an empire with dicks. Oh shit. Yeah. That's funny. All right. Yeah, well. so how how were people like in Quebec City? Were they excited? Because every time we take you out, people are more excited to see you than us than they are to see us. Yeah. They really? were so excited. At the door, especially I heard because Emil was there. He's like, dude. People thought you were joking about him being at the door. Oh, yeah. So you were at the door ripping oh, tickets. So everyone was like, oh, my God, it's really Poseidon. It's really Poseidon. He's like, yeah, I'm fucking here. Now, hold on. I'll tell you where to sit. He, was, he keeps snapping his fingers. He's oh, like, hey, really? you, over here. Go ahead. Yeah, like at some point, there was these four big guys. and taller. Uh, two of them were taller than me. So they were really like fucking huge. But all super nice. Super, super nice people, by yeah. the way. But like, I'm in, I'm in like a, I, I was in like a kind of like work mode. And the guy told me the best way to fill... He was ready to shit himself. The fill... <laughs> Work mode. It was the turtle head coming what we, out. What are we doing? What are we doing? We shit in our yeah. pants? We suck yeah. dicks? What are we doing? <laughs> so did you shit your pants? I'm working here. Yeah. I just punched yeah. in. Show me the word. Where's my next humiliation? Where's my next humiliation? Where's my next humiliation? <laughs> I'm working, bro. I'm working. <laughs> I'm <laughs> Taking care of business, bro. Don't worry about it. <laughs> so you, the Dow Jones says shitting in your mouth is a big business. Where do I lie down? <laughs> How much money you made? Will you take a shit? Nothing. Exactly. You fucking loser. <laughs> oh, God, Go I'm sleep sweating. in your car. Uh, Speaking uh, of sleeping in your car, I was walking home the other night. <laughs> <laughs> to my car home. Yeah. No, no, no. This is a good segue. Oh, hold on. I see this guy in a car and his light is on. I'm like, what the fuck is he doing at three in the morning parked there? I walk by his car. What the car. fuck are you doing at three yeah, in the morning? You just parked yeah, the car. I He's finished part of the neighborhood watch. <laughs> was it a guy that was trying to sleep? That's why he put the I'm light selling on. Selling drugs, bro. Could Can you imagine alone? if he's knocking? Could you imagine if he's knocking yeah. on the door? Like, hey, hey, bro. hey what, what's your problem? What are we do. You need a nightlight. You have a nightlight in there. <laughs> yeah, me too, bro. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I walk so past. So he's in his car, and I look in out of curiosity, and the dude's pissing in a cup. And it looked like it was living out of his car. You looked in, like, no, no, out of curiosity. No, no, no. I didn't go like this. And the guy was like, get away, get away. I didn't go like bro, this, bro. Like, bro, sweet dick, bro. <laughs> yeah. He was just like, nice. Yeah, and he's like, what the fuck are you doing? What am I, what are you doing with that thing? I was just like, dude, dude, that's what pants are for. Just call Mike Ward. Yeah. Is somebody yeah. paying you Who to do this? Cup? How much is Mike Ward giving you to do this? Cause I'll do, and then he was yelling at the street. I'll do it for half of what he's doing it for. <laughs> Mike, where are the cameras? I'm gonna suck his dick. I'll suck his dick right now. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, fuck. What was the guy? Huh? So the he? guy was trying to I don't discreetly know take a piss in a yes. cup, and you fucking looked in. I didn't go like this. First of all. I didn't go like this. <laughs> it was I, a I convertible. Was, he's standing no, over. No, no, I was walking, and the car was high enough that. I, I just looked like this and I saw him piss. I didn't see his face. I just saw him pissing in a cup. I was like, what the so fuck? So you look just straight at the dick. Like when you look at a car, you look right at the dick. No, because I'm tall, right? So it's the yeah, angle. Yeah. I love it. You know what? It's like a magnet. You walk my legs. <laughs> Every time he's in a room, it's damn, damn, damn. Like that. You're like the Terminator. Yeah. You're the Cockinator, bro. <laughs> That's what happens. Yeah. Or the poopinator. He sees, yeah, wait, his eyes just so he looks at a dick and then it's written seven inches circumcised. <laughs> suckable. <laughs> suckable. <laughs> Very suckable. <You> motherfuckers. <laughs> and it goes, yeah, from one to ten, it goes from suckable to extremely suckable. Yeah. <laughs> the lowest, the lowest kind of suckable. The lowest is kind of suckable. Yeah. Or it's just the lowest is jerkable. Yeah. <laughs> it's filthy dick. Your dick is disgusting. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. We you got think it's disgusting, but I'm not a bad at business, bro. Oh god. I know how to make a dollar. 
God. This portion of the podcast brought to you by antibiotics. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Sam. what? Why? I don't know. Well, filthy cocks. Mm. Oh, shit. So, oh, okay. How? The, yeah, but wh- why were you out at three in the morning looking at dicks? Oh, selling drugs. <laughs> 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 like that's his cover story. He's like, bro, wasn't it weird? I was selling drugs, bro. Yeah. You were I was just, selling Viagra. You were just getting back from work. Yeah. Okay, so just say that. Mm. Yeah. yeah, it's it's easier to go. I was getting back from work and I saw a guy in a car. Instead of going, I was taking a walk at three thirty in the morning. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's true. I was walking in the street three thirty in the morning, and then this fucking weirdo. I'm not, now, very, I'm not sounds, very good with sentences. It yeah. sounds more like now you were part of that whole. Dick pissing yeah. fiasco, and you're like, "How do I cover up? I was selling it's drugs, guys." Oh yeah, it's true. I didn't yeah. look at it that way. Yeah, you're like selling drugs is way better than me telling my suck this guy's dick. I'm not sounds, good at vocabulary. It sounds like you were out looking for guys to take their dicks out, and the guy got scared because you're way bigger than him. So he's like, "If I'll, I'll just do oh it. My God. I'll do it. I'm sorry, Mister. I'll do a dirty <laughs> thing. He won't want to suck it anymore." And, and he's like, "Stop crying, bro. Don't ruin my erection." <laughs> oh my God. You getting hot? Yeah. yeah. Take is that it off. Stomach or is that feedback? Oh, that's oh. feedback. Oh, there we go, schoolboy baby. All He's right. back. <laughs> How many fucking layers did you have? Yeah, that is a Four. lot of layers. Now that I think about it, yeah. Four. Yeah. Oh, you got one of those undershirt. You look like a guy that's wearing a wife beater under all. I'm wearing a wife mess. beater because I like to beat wives. Yeah. Hmm. You know what? Actually, I retract that statement. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he well, likes to beat girlfriends. Yeah. <laughs> never had the chance. Never gotten the chance to beat a wife yet. <laughs> what would it take for you to punch your girlfriend in the face, not the stomach? Oh, fuck. Yeah, you don't want to punch her in the stomach. Yeah, maybe, That'd be mean. Yeah. She, would, she would murder one of my brothers. Do you have a girlfriend? No. Because oh. he so keeps if, punching if, if, <laughs> so it's, it's shadow boxing. <laughs> <laughs> so if, if uh, your girlfriend murders one of your brothers, does it you'll, matter which you'll one? punch her in the face? I'll kill her, actually. Hmm. By punching her in the face? Revenge. What if your girlfriend punched your father in the face? <laughs> I tell her, swing again. What if she'd murder him? Yeah. <sighs> Fuck. Kill him again. Jesus Christ. Wow. And you All don't right. have daddy issues. Yeah, seriously. You should be on a stripper pole. No wonder he's sucking <laughs> yeah. so many dicks. His yeah. fucking father did this to him. Oh, so the only way you'd punch your girlfriend is if she would um, murder one of your brothers. Okay. That's how how about... Exa- it's an example. Okay, what about if she, if would... she murdered uh, Pantels? Yeah. I'd murder her. Okay. How about this? How about she goes to the bank when you're not around, she clears up all your accounts, all the money you've saved up, everything... And she steals all your shit. You have nothing, basically, except for the shirt on your back when you get back home. Except for the four shirts on your back. Yeah. Except for for the eight shirts that you're wearing. (laughs) I'm tracking her down. I'm taking all my shit back. No, no. Then when you find her, what do you do? I'm taking my shit back. How? It's in the bank. It's in her bank account. No. What if she she stole all your money and then she bought you the most thoughtful gift? Yeah. What the fuck? A blowjob kit, like how to suck a dick properly. (laughs) She's like, don't worry, you'll make the money back quickly. (laughs) And then I'll take my cut. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, she starts pimping you out. That'd be hilarious. Where's my money, bitch? (laughs) Yeah, she fucking punches you in the face. Backhands me. Yeah. Oh, God. So, what would it take? For me to punch her in the face? Yeah. Oh, fuck. A lot. Fraud? What do you mean, fraud? Like what I just said, she frauds you, she takes your shit. Yeah. Okay. What else? She frauds. I don't you. know, Brian. I really, I, I never really thought about this. I've really, I've never thought of. You got to put thought into this, man. You got to know never, your limits. I've never thought of punching a woman in the face. That's a lie. Yeah. What if she said Steve Urkel was not comedy genius? <laughs> Who's Steve Urkel? Yeah, I like punch that. her in yeah. the face. Just punch her if she says that. Punch yeah. her in the face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he doesn't know any any Pop culture cultural reference. references no. from the last. He uh, or he knows them way too much. So it, if you name any character from any TV show, he doesn't know who so it like is. My big fat Greek wedding. He's an yeah. expert, but, every but other yeah. Joey Fatone, bro. Or <laughs> like, who's it? Lance Bass. Who's I, don't, it? I don't remember. Or like, uh, like, well, Sopranos. You can ask him season four, episode six, and then well, mm-hmm. season that's four, he just episode saw it. six. What? No, he doesn't know that. Okay, he doesn't no, no, know no, numbers uh, yet. He doesn't know no, numbers. No, no, like I, my memory doesn't work that okay. way. Okay, but like, how does your memory work? Like, if you tell me. The scene like if you tell Tony me the scene, the, I'll be able to, hey, wasn't that season uh, around episode this, that? I won't be able to precisely pinpoint the minute and Yeah, second. obviously, you're not, yeah. you know, you're not Rain Man. I'm not a psychopath. Well, well, hold on a second. <laughs> we do have a lot yeah. of evidence to the yeah. contrary. You're on the psychopath spectrum. Yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
I took a test online that says I have sociopathic tendencies. You didn't need to take a really? test. Just watch these videos. <laughs> what do you mean? What What was the test? Was it was just a like a quiz. You answer a bunch of questions on Cosmo. So you Googled uh, sociopath test. No, I yeah. stumbled upon it. Stumbled upon. <laughs> That's it. not something that you yeah. stumble upon. So can, yeah, I if stumbled you have, upon it, bro. No, when you're if at you have sociopaths.com, yeah. you might stumble upon the quiz. Yeah. <laughs> he got lost on the dark web. You could stumble yeah. upon a ladyboy with your lifestyle, uh, but you yeah. can't stumble upon one of these I quizzes. Think, I think. I think it was. Uh, I think it was an article on Facebook, and I clicked on it. Uh, something about sociopaths, and then on the bottom it said, "Are you a sociopath? Take this quiz to find out." And then you're like, I'll take the fucking quiz. I was like, okay, I'm good at tests. I was bored. I think all that's right, your yeah. answer right there. Would yeah. So like, would, oh, I'll like, take yeah. this test. All right. I'm, you'd be so easy to, to convert <laughs> test into <pass>. ISIS. <laughs> yeah. I took a test I, uh, for ISIS. I passed. They're fucking, I, all I got to do is fly down there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yeah. well, I said I get a ISIS beard. says I'd be yeah. a general. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I get a beard. I get a tank. Yeah. Six wives. It'll be good. Thursdays, I can fuck dudes. It's fucking yeah. great. <laughs> Thursdays, dudes fuck me. Yeah. At first, you know, you got to fucking in Afghanistan. put you in the level hours. Up. Yeah, you level up. Yeah, you put in the hours. You put in the hours, you know. Fucking Jesus Christ. Bro. You put in the hours. Yeah. <laughs> Do the groundwork. <laughs> was it Thursday when you were walking by that car and the guy was pissing in the cup? Is that what happened? That's why he piqued your curiosity? Hey, it's Thursday. Man, love Thursday. Thursday. That guy's got an exposed penis. And then we're going to find out he never actually saw it. He just saw it on the internet. <laughs> and he, I saw a video of a guy peeing in a cup. And he Googled it. He was looking for it. He's like, man, pees in cup. He's like, that's a sweet dick, bro. Sweet dick. <laughs> just if I tell this story, remember to add that the guy is the weirdo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the best. He just adds at the end. He'll say oh, you should tell Derek what, what your favorite kind of porn is. Oh, yeah. That's that's very interesting. Yeah. What is my favorite kind of porn? I have a lot of favorite mom's porn. getting raped. Was no. it that mom's trying to get out a window, and, but the, they're they're they they get step -moms. stuck it's in the step -moms. window. Step moms. Step -moms. Step -moms. Get First stuck in window and then Poseidon gets stuck in the window and then they get raped by a fucking suspect. Number. But lately, <laughs> lately I've been into lesbians. Lately, where they fuck themselves with a double edged dildo. Double edged. Reason. Yeah. For some fucking reason, double ended maybe. Double ended, yes. Double there you go. Double ended. I like double <laughs> ended. <laughs> some sliced up vaginas. Yeah, yeah, I watch people murder each other. <laughs> they put yeah. You gotta tape two knives together. <laughs> yeah, because uh, you know, because <laughs> one knife isn't gonna do or it you for get me. One, one of those knives that, that you know. That, <laughs> oh, speaking they're of North knives. Korean yeah. films. <laughs> oh my god. Speaking of knives, I want I want fucking slap chops on the yeah. end. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> on the end of my dildos. <laughs> it's like a requiem for a dream. Yeah, his dream is to get a lesbian yeah. that slap chop her pussy. <laughs> oh, no. Fuck you. <laughs> you so, don't want my dick. No one's going to have that pussy. Oh, so it's lesbians and what else? Uh, that, that's what I've been watching lately. Okay. What was it before that? It was just the uh, stepmoms getting stuck in windows? Uh, yeah. What other predicaments so, did these stepmoms niche. find themselves in? Just getting stuck. Where well, else would they get well, stuck? First of all, I find it hilarious. I watch them for the well, hilarity. The, where else would they get stuck? For the hold comedy? on, hold on, hold yeah. on. <laughs> Hold on. This is so well Cause, written. Because she gets stuck in a window, yeah. but the window's wide open. Yeah. yeah. You know, so I find it a little ridiculous. <laughs> but then I get a hard on, so I'm like, fuck it, I'm drinking off to this. <laughs> okay, where else would she get stuck? What other predicaments would she find herself Under in? the bed. She got stuck under the bed. What's she yeah. doing under the bed? In, in the, the place? washing machine. She got stuck inside the washing machine. Yeah. Doesn't know how to wash clothes properly. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, that's a where fucking else? dumb lady. Yeah. And it, basically, where else? if you're... <laughs> she's oh, under the sink? I could see the... The director of photography's <laughs> logic here. She gets stuck anywhere where she could stick her head and yeah, somebody yeah. could fuck her from yeah. behind. The yeah. message beside is like, no. this is uh, some ludicrous writing. Is that a lemonade stand? Yeah. What can I get for you, sweetie? Holy shit! My stepson's fucking me. Yeah. Oh, and no. does she, those movies, the way I, I imagine it, she doesn't know it's the stepson at first, so then she loves it. Then she turns around and goes, yes. "What are you doing?" Yeah, and then she, and some of them, not all of them. She still loves it. And some of them, not all. But of them. you stopped watching those about the time that you moved out of your mom's house, which is very weird. Yeah, that is true. We told you about this last yeah. time. Ah, oh, bro, what the fuck? Yeah, you know and what? you kept setting traps on your house, trying to trap yeah. your mom in windows, trying to remember? get her stuck in places. 
This is where we <laughs> find out you're adopted. <laughs> you fucking put double-sided tape on every opening of the house. Gorilla tape. He just hoping that she'd <laughs> lean <Gorilla> up. Tape. <laughs> he walks in the house and hears his mom, help, help, I'm stuck in a window. Don't worry, I saw a movie, I know what to do. <laughs> oh my God. I'll be right up with the lube, mom. <laughs> you know what? Because I, I used to work at a uh, garage when I was uh, 16, Yeah. 17. I yeah. love how I this is going like to die together already. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I used to, I used to really be into at that age, uh, pornos, but uh, taking place in a garage. Pornos, taking place in a garage. Okay, like just two handyman being like, I got a wrench. No, for no, you. no. A chick goes in to repair her car, and she gets raped. Like, oh, I don't know what I can do. Uh, and then he's gonna be like, it's expensive, and then she goes, it's expensive, wow, and shit like that. I was into that, for in, and then high school. So he just likes familiar scene yeah yeah but he pretty, doesn't have enough pretty soon there's gonna be like oh, i really like yeah. pornos that take place with six dudes in a room and <laughs> no. a, a bunch of tvs and microphones and some empty <laughs> bottles of beer yeah oh man that's the best you know it's really hot watching people fuck on a couch exactly like mine yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's what he just invites people over and jerks off Actually, while they what's fuck. funny my couch looks like the casting couch that from those pornos there, because the it's couch covered porno? in jizz. Yeah. No, because it's it's uh, instead of black leather, it's brown leather. <laughs> it's covered in another man's jizz. He's like, well, it's a movie couch, really. Yeah. <laughs> I paid for the premium. Yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> no, but instead of being uh, black, it's brown. My couch. So it doesn't look like uh, the couch in yeah. the movie. It's, it kind of does. Shit it's the your same. couch. Yeah. For money. I have the same. You don't remember the kit from Knight Rider? I have no. the same car, but it's white. Same car. Remember uh, Magnum PI's fucking red Ferrari? Same thing, but it's a black uh, Accord. <laughs> <laughs> but it's the same. <laughs> Magnum could go to the restaurant. I could go to the restaurant. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh shit. Oh wow. So yeah, your porn habits again. I forgot that we had already yeah. discussed your your odd porn habits. But it's very uh, very interesting, and they change. They evolve. Yeah, it's yeah, true. You know, because I we, get bored. We grow. Look, a lot of times I <laughs> just jerk off to sleep at night. <laughs> you jerk off to to watching people sleep. That's what no, 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 I, no, I jerk off to. Uh, to okay, fall. I no, thought you because no, no. you jerk off to lesbians. No, 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 you hold jerk on, off hold to on. sleep. In, no, in order, I jerk off to sleep. Mm -hmm. I jerk off to screams. No, I no. <laughs> I wait till that fish lady falls asleep. I jerk off, and then when she screams, I come. Yes, yeah. I jerk off to fish. No, I jerk off in order to fall asleep. Fun fact: I found out I jerk off to fire. Oh shit, I found out this week that apparently uh, pyromania is a sexual disorder. Uh oh. The pyromaniacs set fires because they get sexually aroused. I've set a lot of fires in my time. I was never aroused. I blame Chloe. Really? Yeah, same here. I was never aroused. We're not pyromaniacs. We just like to start a fire. It's not the same. Pyromaniacs, it's like, it's, it's like kleptomaniacs. They, need they can't. It. They, it's they have a to. symptom of chlamydia. Yeah. <laughs> but really, it's My sexual. dick's on yeah. fire. Yeah. Everything's gonna be on fire. So technically, you could hypothetically see a house on fire yeah. and then a guy outside jerking off. Yeah. Well, technically, yeah. that could be a real yeah. scene that's right. happened in real life. Yeah. That's crazy. the end of Jesus his dick looks Christ. like a marshmallow. Yeah. He's, he's like, you know, it's really exciting. At the end, you get the two graham crackers, the <laughs> chocolate <laughs> on the balls, and <laughs> <laughs> he's got someone fucking fighting into it. Poseidon's there. He's like, I love science. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that yeah, that's fucking crazy. If that's true, that's fuck. Well, I, it's probably true. Where'd yeah. you see it? Because uh, I think it was Pierre that told me. No, my son. Okay, yeah, his son told me that. His son that has no, my fucking... son jerks yeah. off to yeah. fires. You know my the son that keeps starting the, fires. The, the one with the red face and the, the burns on his arm. Imagine you go on a camping trip <laughs> and you're all sitting around the fire and there's just well, this one dude. <laughs> Fucking yeah. jerking off. You know my son yeah. Zippo. Yeah, him. Yeah, yeah Zippo. Yeah, just, <laughs> but it makes that. sense because it's like it's something so fucking crazy yeah. that that uh, you know. Because the only reason you do this to because oh, that you explains something. In high school, we had a kid that was a pyromaniac. Wait, hold that. on. I just want to establish something because pyromaniac isn't someone who likes to light matches. Pyromaniac is someone who likes to set fucking big... burn shit okay. down and has to burn shit. Yeah, down. yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, yeah. So we 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 had this kid in high school. They expelled him because he he liked to take the picnic tables and do different designs on them with uh, like uh, lighter fluid, fluid, lighter fluid, and then set them on fire. And he was like, ah, I loved it. And he had like I think a collection of like twenty eight lighters. Okay, and one so day, far sounds like a well established young man. And then one day they confiscated all of his lighters. Fucking. They opened his locker room. And they're like, no, nope. fucking narcs. <laughs> 
and he threw, I think, one of the biggest temper tantrums. Because he didn't realize he could life. go to any goddamn dip on our, yeah. any grocery store and buy another lighter. It's a 90 cent lighter. No, because they had been collecting them for a while, apparently. Okay. But like, were they all big lighters? Because I no, know, no, no, no. I know were, people that collect lighters. No, no, they were, I have a few nice lighters myself. No, they were like different. How do you feel like, about picnic tables, weirdo? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you would jerk off in a forest? I was just looking at this table. Oh, my God. Look at this. This fucking, looks so this flammable. Like, yeah. Holy shit. This is what is it, the fucking palette. <laughs> yeah, so the guy would burn, would burn. Would he? Like he would draw. It? He would draw dicks on picnic tables and set them on fire. Oh, at least so it, that's how you became if friends. If it was like the yeah. Mona Lisa, he would have got some fucking yeah. credibility. There would have been some backlash. Yeah, that was just weird. Just like the, there was a kid uh, when I was growing up that used to used to write shit on the in the street. And then light it on fire. And whenever I'd see those kids, I'd be like, oh, this guy's going to end up in jail. Yeah. And he probably is in jail. Is I that, assume, yeah. He was ahead of his time because if you do that now and there's drones, it's art. you could film yeah. it. I'm like, oh, shit, you could see it. But he's just yeah. doing it and everyone's looking at it from this angle. and like, oh, like, yeah, oh yeah, maybe. It's just a fire. It's an yeah, artist. But we look maybe at it up he there was. and probably said, give peace a chance or yeah. something like that. <laughs> stop <laughs> judging me. It's just written, stop judging me, Ward. <laughs> stop <laughs> judging me, Ward. Going, what a fucking loser. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, that's just okay. how we praise. Dear God. Wait, wait so <laughs> you, your guy was drawing penises and lighting them on fire? Not just penises, like random stuff. Is that how you met when he's like, I like drawing dicks. Like, I like sucking dicks. Bro. <laughs> no, he was just Can't stumbling out of the he house. Was, he, was the, <laughs> he was the model. Having to notice a, pe a penis on fire. He was like, hey, no, what that, are you doing? <laughs> that's not how you draw a penis. AM. Look at this penis. All right. Yeah, he was just showing his dick to the guy and the guy's drawing his dick. <laughs> Poseidon, why have you dick out? I like to support art. I'm cultured. <laughs> I'm a male model. Pass, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> pass, pass me the lighter fluid. Oh, do you remember that show, American Vandal, the first season? Oh, no, on Netflix. Yeah, yeah. S the trailer. The skid fucking drew dicks all everywhere. Yeah, that mm -hmm. was the whole thing. It was who yeah. drew the dicks. Yeah. yeah. Was that yeah. fiction or obviously? Documentary? obviously. Yeah. yeah, it was a yeah. mockumentary, and it was a bad show too. Like yeah. I, I, the idea when I heard it, I was like, that oh, could be fun. Yeah. I watched like an. Uh, uh, like maybe half an episode, and I was like, "Ah, oh, fuck." It's this. Not for me. Yeah. Was it good? Did you watch? A whole I didn't even watch it. Okay. Okay. I didn't even watch Thank, a single. Thanks for bringing that up. Then. Yeah. Let's have a. Panel. Remember, oh, uh, we're on the topic of drawing dicks. Do you so. guys know? Uh, you guys know uh, Romania? <laughs> no. What about it? I've never been. Oh. Me neither. No, but you know. <laughs> Let's discuss but it I heard. in depth. I got excited. I heard. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that where Dracula's from? Yeah. 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 I, Could you hmm. imagine being Romanian though? Like if that's my all... mechanic is Romanian. But could you imagine people really? all they know about you in North America is vampires and gypsies? Like, don't you get mad after a while? I think my mechanic yeah. is both. No, yeah. I think they're proud. No, they'd be they're they're like, we have proud. so much more than that. They, Romanians have more oh, history really? they than do? vampires and gypsies. Yeah. <laughs> like what? Are you uh, one of the vampire Romanians or one of the gypsies? <laughs> Neither. Stop lying, gypsy. <laughs> Hold on. Like what? Like what kind of history? <laughs> Romania. Yeah. Like uh, Vlad, wasn't uh, Vlad the Impaler Romanian? That's was that the, was that the vampire? Was that the vampire? Wasn't a vampire. Yeah. That's what they said after. He one. was actually he the Turks. He was oh, yeah, actually a gypsy. <laughs> they got it wrong. <laughs> no, wasn't he? Wasn't he a king or a prince or some shit? He was. A, and then the Ottomans a count. came. And he, yeah, a count. And yeah. then he had uh, count Dracula. Yeah, yeah. And so then he, he yeah. Had, I, I That's all Romania is. In the day, they try to rob you. At night, they try to suck your blood. Very dangerous to walk the streets of Romania, bro. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, yeah, they actually have a history. They, they had a deal with the Ottomans or some shit. Remember that? No, the Ottomans got scared after a while because he kept fucking impaling people and said, Come, yeah. send, <laughs> send me another. I mean, it was up on a hill, too. It was so yeah, it was you hard don't fuck to... around, bro. So instead of people talking about that, they talk about gypsies and uh, vampires. Yeah. A lot of countries, though, have shit like that. Like Ireland, the only people drunks. think drunks or the IRA. Yeah, yeah. Like uh, Arabs, it's just the terrorists. Yeah. Fun fact about vampires. Oh, yes. All right. All fact. Right. Okay. Do you know why they couldn't see their reflection? Oh, why? This, uh, it's not a real fact, obviously. It's not? Okay, but hold on. The theory goes. Yeah, the theory. That back in the days, uh, mirrors had a, a, it was lined with silver in the back. Yeah. And because their weakness is silver, they could not, it wouldn't fucks with them, you know? So they couldn't see themselves. But modern mirrors don't have silver. So. 
Thank so you. they could see themselves. Now yeah. they could, yes. Right. Now they could. Thank God, because mm. the vampire community was the getting big, really, their nose hair was getting yeah. really out of control. <laughs> Bad hair day was but the biggest isn't, issue. Isn't like to kill a vampire, it's a wooden stake. Yeah. And, and the then the silver, silver bullet is silver for bullet. werewolves. So oh. your story is werewolves can't see themselves in the mirror. Oh. And the reason why they can't see themselves in the mirror is no wolf can yeah. see himself in the mirror because <laughs> they're a stupid animal. <laughs> <laughs> they're actually very intelligent. Uh, yeah. Werewolves, Poseidon, don't <laughs> exist. Werewolves are very werewolves intelligent. Werewolves are very intelligent. It's a known fact, bro. They have communities yeah. Yeah. Out I in Eastern I, Europe. I clicked on a werewolf IQ test at the bottom of a uh, fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm part, part werewolf. Of a psychopath <laughs> website. <laughs> I up. might be a werewolf. Were yeah. <laughs> I am part werewolf. And there's like a 2% uh, vampire. In there, so I'm gonna, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to talk to my mom. She told me it was 100% Greek. Uh, Someone's got some spiders. Next time she it. gets stuck out a window, I'm gonna, yeah. as I'm raping her, I will yeah. ask her all about. You know, it's funny. He's like, That's now I realize why I can only sleep yeah. in the dark. I have some vampire in me. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Fuck, you can't, yeah. yeah. You put the covers, are, are, are your covers made out of wood? <laughs> <laughs> no linen <laughs> made out of linen okay <laughs> That fire alarm, he thought it was like his brother yeah. turning into a yeah. member. Ar, 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 <laughs> I stumbled out of bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just a fire. So did you make, so you made the silver story up. Since no, I read it online. The... No, I read it online. Okay. I, swear to I read it online. Can we establish? But they do have a weakness to silver. No, no like, they don't. In, in no, they, they might don't. like silver. In yeah. the movie, you They might have a weakness. They, they might, spend all their money on they silver. They enjoy the silver. <laughs> He started in rumors like about Jews. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that the vampires enjoy the vampire. silver. Vampires control the media. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and that vampire didn't kill himself. Okay. All right. Fuck! It went nowhere. You know why? Because right. Epstein was not the head. Uh, he was just the facilitator for all those yeah. other pedophiles. He yeah. was the guy that would facilitate no, for no, Bill Clinton. Because you those were guys. using vampire as a vampire term to describe Jews? Yeah. yeah. Hebrews? No, we weren't. Jeffrey Epstein. Oh, you weren't? If Jeffrey Epstein didn't have as much money, he'd be the guy that would be like, let's Igor. have him Let's have him sing It's Raining Men. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> you have low budget Epstein yeah. running that fucking circus. <laughs> yeah, Jesus yeah. Christ. You got to be careful. Hmm. I'm taking them on a trip to an island. No, you're not. <laughs> 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 They're staying here. So yeah, Hillary Clinton. Killing people. So we didn't talk about that. They, they found out the coroner said yeah. he uh, was guaranteed strangled. was strangled. And nobody wants to cover that shit. Yeah, and uh, but like everyone knew that since the beginning. But yeah. then they just said, hey, it turns out he didn't kill himself. He got murdered. All right, case closed. Yeah. Like no yeah. one's like... Glad like, we got glad we got to the bottom of that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shouldn't we... Like shouldn't someone go... All right, so who killed him? Well, could yeah. he have not hung himself, though? That couldn't no, it was strangulation, and also w w what's fucked up is that at the moment that it, when it happened, in the middle of the night, the cameras, the cameras were all went off, off yeah. and the two security guards both said they fell asleep yeah. at the same yeah. time on sounds, each other's cocks. Very yeah. fishy. Yeah. <laughs> it's very fishy. <laughs> and those guys, though, like they, what, they, I wonder the people that told them, if you spend any of the money in the first five years, we're going to murder you, too. Yeah, hmm. for sure. Yeah, so they can't spend any money. They're, For five years? Yeah, because you don't want a guy that's making, I don't know how much a prison guy makes. Let's like, say he like makes Goodfellas like, when like, the guy shows up with a fur coat. Yeah, yeah, yeah that oh, obviously fucking if you idiot. Go, yeah, if you but go you got to wait at least five years. And you got to, I'd tell him, look, in, in five years, you in five years, you, you fucking start a business. You in eight years, you start a business and a cash business. Yeah. And oh, fuck, he's making money with selling waterbeds. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> fucking, this guy, look at this guy. He's got a fucking. Yeah. <laughs> or they can use it in the sense of like, oh, I'm a little short on rent. Yeah. And then get murdered. Here's a hundred dollars. What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah. So you think someone that gets paid like nine million to kill, to look the other way when someone gets killed is going to use the $100. He'd be like, look, I don't know how to launder money, but $100 here, $40 there. You can't be this okay. retarded. Mm -hmm. All right. So here's the thing. When I go to the restaurant, pay with my credit card, but leave the tip cash. <laughs> <laughs> Government, none the wiser. It's a $30 meal to $4,000 tip cash. Like That's how this works. Can you break a 1000 <laughs> <laughs> Can you break a gold bar? Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's all gold bars. <laughs> oh, shit.
Uh, yeah. Speaking I love of this bars. show's called uh, Two Drink Minimum, but apparently it's a three drink maximum. Do you want? Do you want? You want more beer? What are you talking about? Hold on. Go, go I, get I, some beer. I was gonna go because no, I, I, I was gotta, gonna take off another drive. article. Go, go. Clothing. Yeah, or, get him. Get him. Michelob Alter. He's got to drive. And bring uh, bring a couple for me. And bring a cup Do too, because I, I have to pee. And, in, and I'm gonna have to pee in a cup. Yeah, yeah and uh, bring yes, bring some water. Perfect. All right, he's. Poseidon said he wants to go take out another uh, part of his clothing. Oh, and I like that he just left, but he never closed so, the door. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he grew it. <laughs> he just left. He was like, uh, and he did a, he always, and then now he didn't close it properly. This, that's how he walks out of his house during the fire. But, but he walked out, like he always does he stumbled, that. He, he used stumbled Because he, he has to go take a shit now. Yeah. Remember when we started doing the podcast? We're doing the podcast one time, and then, and then well, I'm talking to her, he's talking, and then he goes, <laughs> he does this and then he goes <laughs> and he just left to take his shit it's like the it wasn't so he didn't stumble out that time he him. kind of yeah. okay. shuffled oh, very fuck, weirdly fuck he didn't take a shit it's all right. a good thing I okay. didn't yeah. close the door because okay. how would I have brought all this in thanks okay. Dave thank you oh it makes gentleman. sense gentleman makes sense all right, we're sorry for this. Is uh, our oh, first, take it off, Mike's baby. Mike's realizing his Look brother's gonna have, to, he's gonna have to. He's gonna have to quit the whole uh, piloting thing. We need a uh, we need a drink fetcher here. Yeah, do you want one, Dave? Uh, not, not right now. All right, you have to fly a plane later. Not today. <laughs> no. <laughs> Get in there. Oh my God. All right, he's taking large. yeah. Yeah, layers and layers off. You okay. went from looking like Poseidon of two drink minimum, right? Then you looked like a overweight school child, yeah. and now you look like a divorced dad of that school yeah. child. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he wears black wife beaters. Yeah. yeah. Not that the wife is black, but the well, shirt. Because the, the white ones show my nipples. Yeah. To who? No. <laughs> <laughs> to who though? Why are you gonna take your shirt off? You're like, look at this white beater. Can you see my nipple? So you can see your nipple on, like, even though with the wife beater and a shirt. No. So, so, then, so who but cares? like when I remove the shirt. So, but for who? For you in the mirror? Yeah. You lost your goddamn mind. <laughs> Mike Patterson would be very jealous of that shirt because that literally looks like a Burger King manager oh, shirt. Oh, it's true. Yeah. 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 Patterson like got this, the right it. color scheme and everything. <laughs> yeah. Mike Patterson's gonna fucking rape you for that yeah. shirt. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> and there's even no, like not a, Burger a, King, a like Arby's, a, a special Arby's holder for your name tag. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's where you put yeah. your name tag. That's where you put the name tag. <laughs> it's my old work shirt. Where did you where, used to work? Arby's. Used to work. Huh? Was did that? you used to work at Arby's? Yeah. No, for real though. Where was it? You know where it was? The old <laughs> one? No. A and W. Oh, you Harvey's? mean your old work shirt of where you work right now? Yeah. Oh my God! What oh, an okay, idiot! Okay. Oh. oh, where he works now. So that is for a name tag. That little, yeah. that little extra. Okay, piece of yeah, tag. yeah. Hmm. But you know, you seriously, you look like the manager that gave up right now. Yeah. You look like the manager guy. <laughs> fucking yeah, all seriously. these people are complaining. Manager, he took off the tie and not even one button. He's like, "Fuck it, I'm undoing two it, buttons." It, like, it looks like you've heard what everything. Can I, what can I get you, sweetheart? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> right? Doesn't it look like he's yeah. been? Through, he's like, look at this shit. You finger one broad in the bathroom, <laughs> yeah. and they give you a warning in the parking lot. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it looks like. You look defeated. Yeah, from complaints. You went from the beginning of the podcast. You look really healthy and good, and that. Uh, yeah, so yeah. I think what helped you it was, was the layers. layers. Yeah, <laughs> layers. Yeah. You need to have high blood pressure yeah. to look good. You know, you, I'll tell you exactly what it looks like right now. Yeah. If this was a movie. And there'd be a camera on you. You would basically, actually, no, the camera wouldn't be on you. You'd be in the front counter. Somebody would be like, can I speak to the manager? And then from the back, all you hear is this, fuck! And it'll be you coming out. <laughs> That's what it looks like. How can I help you? <laughs> That's what it looks like. Yeah. You got to do that. Like when uh, for Pantelis' wedding, you got to, <laughs> since we know that layers help you, is rent for tuxedos. <laughs> <laughs> and take them off slowly. Yeah, like it was fucking time, hot. Man. And then you take your shirt off. He's the taking night. his shirt off. Oh no, he's got another jacket. <laughs> <laughs> at the end of the night, they're like, he looked fine oh, when yeah. we first saw him. <laughs> Four cumber buns. That would be <laughs> they're all yeah. soaked in sweat. Uh, yeah, you're sweating a lot today, yeah. yeah. I don't but know why. Of course, he, you were wearing four fucking shirts. Yeah, and you were part of, you yeah. survived the great fire of 2019. In your <laughs> the great fish fire. The, the great fish, fish fire. fire. Uh, she didn't. It was just smoke. The smoke. Did she apologize? Well, who's she gonna apologize to? No, she doesn't give a fuck. Mm. She must though, because she hears the noise too. Right? Yeah, yeah, she does. But she did. She, she thought the care. fish was ready. 
Yeah. Because <laughs> that, that is her alarm. Yeah. She said her maybe, alarm maybe, sound exactly like that. Maybe she's like, this country is the best. When the fish is ready, <laughs> yeah. the neighbors the come out there. and they celebrate in the street. <laughs> <laughs> and then the big red truck shows up and I'm fucking eating my delicious fish. <laughs> <laughs> this country is amazing. <laughs> His mom asks him, so how's life on your own right now? And he just recaps the week. He's like, ah, you know, I was walking on the street. I saw a guy pull his dick. I was pissing in a cup. Then there was a fire, but it was really just smoke and everything. A black woman fishing. And then I went to the show with the guys and I just kept taking my clothes off. Yeah. It was a good week. And then she's like, <laughs> he's making everything up. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Did they pay you to take your clothes off? No, it was just hot. <laughs> on the bright side, I got a job at Burger King. Yeah. <laughs> So I want to come back uh, to Quebec City though, because I want to know where. Because uh, women love this guy. Yeah, really? Were they co- yeah, you're you're, you're the yeah. yeah. You've you've had sex with a couple for, of two for, two drink minimum groupies. Yeah, four shirt minimum also. Yeah, it's a, <laughs> it's a two drink minimum <laughs> four shirt minimum. minimum. <laughs> yeah, he's got yeah. It, we're the, the spinoff to this podcast is four shirt minimum. <laughs> while, while, while you uh, extract the uh, fucking prowess of uh, Poseidon with the women, I have to piss. Okay, yeah, no yeah. shit. Because of the five drink maximum, I yeah. have to piss. Dude. So uh, I want to hear I want to hear the Mike's question. Four though. shit minimum. What? For shit. For, for shit. Yeah, oh. I don't know why I yeah. went with for shit. For shit, for shit yeah, actually works better. Yeah. So you, Mike was asking you just about your your prowess with these groupies. Yeah, it's not really prowess. It's just like, oh, you want to fuck? And they're like, that's yeah. not true. No. <laughs> why did you become Arthur Fonzarelli? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He became the like when when Henry Winkler auditioned for the Fonz. Yeah. They're like, tone it down, Mister Winkler. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. This is <laughs> we're on CBS. <laughs> And that's not what happened hey, with this really one. Fucking brought. You didn't tell her anything. This one reached out to yeah, my she... fan page and said, "Can you tell Poseidon I actually want to have sex with him, but I can't find him anywhere online." Oh, nice. Was she uh, good looking? Uh, I didn't see her. I saw her. Yeah. So I sent I sent her to his Instagram. I said, "Here's his Instagram. Just message Quebec him there. City check or Montreal? Quebec City." Man. Oh fuck! And you didn't hook up when you were there. We were no, already in Montreal when yeah. I saw the message. Yeah. Like I was home and I sent it to him. I was. I was you like, should go back. I am. Yeah, he's gonna go back oh, when nice. I get the chance. Yeah. Oh, I'll I'll hook you up. I have a I have a contact for an amazing the best hotel in Quebec City is called Chateau Bonantin. I'll get you a suite there. Bring her Bro. there. Yeah, what? It's insane. What? Yeah, the suites are are amazing. The only thing that sucks, but how much? Uh, uh, it'll be uh, it'll be free. What? Yeah. What? What? Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. What? For the record, if you're gonna do this, yeah. tell her to bring a friend. Yeah. But the go crazy. The thing I hate. Did you just say? Did you hear what he (laughs) said? Why? (laughs) The hell am I gonna do with two girls, bro? Ew. Disgusting. You don't know they have cooties. (laughs) Fucking. Ugh. Mike's hooking me up. You want to come to hotel with me, bro? So stupid. Yeah, that hotel. The only thing I don't like about it, it's for real. It's the because everyone in Quebec City thinks Chateau Frontenac is the best hotel because it's really nice and it's a castle. So it's the and it's kind of the emblem of Quebec City. Yeah. But the rooms are kind of shit. And, it's super old. Yeah, and they're eight hundred dollars a night. Like oh, it's fuck. super expensive. Chateau Bonantin is. Uh, it's not a real castle, but the rooms are amazing. And uh, the only yeah. problem, like it's by far the best best hotel in Quebec City. But the only problem is uh, they censor the internet, like they do, like in the Middle East. What do you mean? So the first time, first time I was there, uh, I I go to go on on you on uh, Pornhub, and it, it doesn't work. And I go, I don't know, I, I must have hooked something on my laptop. I'm like, that's weird. And then I I look at you porn on my uh, iPad, and still couldn't watch it. And then I called like a preach that was opening for me. I was like, "Could you go on YouPorn just to see?" And he goes, "It's I can't. There is no YouPorn." And so they fucking they censored the That's the internet. So then, like the second time I went, and I like I had my the person that books my rooms for me. I was like, "Tell him and go. This is gonna sound fucking weird, but we're a free country, so just unlock the internet." And then they told him they were like, "No, that we don't we don't censor the internet." But they that time they the I went on and the first thing I do every time I go there now I I look at, at uh, Pornhub. Very healthy. Yeah, and then uh, this the second time I could find Pornhub, and then this last time I went, we didn't warn them like, hey, we want to watch porn, and uh, it was blocked. I, yeah, it was blocked. Is that the the chain that's uh, 
the chain that's uh, run by the Mormons? No, it's uh, a Chateau Bonatin. Is it run by the Mormons? Is There's it? a whole chain of hotel. I forget which one it is. It's not Marriott uh, Bonvoy, but it's... Oh, Maybe. that might be like, it. Maybe uh, Mormons bought it. Fuck, Best everything Western, makes sense now. Best Western or Super 8. One okay. of those, it's a chain though, and it's owned by the Mormon church, and you can't get on porn then when you're there. Oh, really? I, I think maybe I'll, I'll like find out. Like yeah. when you try to get adult movie in the room, it's all about how to change your life for the better. Yeah. Adult movie is about <laughs> finding <laughs> Jesus. 1899, yeah. yeah. Jesus was kind of important, but that Smith guy <laughs> fucking... <laughs> Poseidon at that hotel would yeah. be hilarious. He's yeah. like, I've been watched for 40 minutes, bro. No one's getting stuck yeah. in any window. <laughs> yeah it's weird though that that was the only th- like i actually and uh when when i did my show in quebec city the first time they we told them uh, i was like i don't want to bother people in other rooms but we're going to be drinking after so they opened up this uh room for us that was it, it's where the people get uh have breakfast So and and then they set it up. They put vodka bottles. Oh they, shit! Full bar, and it was so there was a bar, but no staff. So it was just us in hanging a, out, in a, hanging out. Oh, that's bad. In a bar, Pierre. Oh, that's that's was dope. So fucking drunk. Like <laughs> when, uh, uh, like he, uh, I was, t- I was talking to it my. It is. It is. It's the Marriott people. Oh, Marriott. Okay. All the and, Marriott. And they own Chateau Bonatant. Can you check? Because uh, like, because uh, when I was talking to, about Pierre to my my uh, my tour director this week, he was like, "Is that your friend that uh, he 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 was kind of like he when I left, he was thrown up on his back, so he would have died." Oh God! And then he was like, "Yeah, me and my girlfriend kind of pushed him over and had him throw up in a in a garbage can," and I was like, "Fuck! This is like a five star hotel, and they gave us like a." a, a Big free section so that I could get this fucking throwing up on guy his back. That throwing like up some, on his back. That's the next but, porn. That but that was a long time ago. That was like a month ago at yeah, least, right? Yeah, that was a couple of months ago. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, you. Uh, so we have to pay for your parking? I'll pay for your yeah, parking. Yeah, because I don't have the app. I haven't set it up. I have to set it up. I keep forgetting. Say. Yeah, it it's not that complicated to set up. He just doesn't no, want to no, pay. No, I just I I literally just paid for parking before. But you so. guys can park in the back, like uh, uh right behind the Baldel. Nah, free. I don't take chances because like, last people. time your your manager they yeah. kept uh, but they because he car. yeah the since that parking lot is supposed to be for the restaurant, but the restaurant closes at midnight. So if you park there after midnight, that that's when they tow you. Jesus Christ! God damn, that's why you're not on America's Got Talent. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, God by the damn. way, the the writing gig that Michelle hooked me up with that guy who yeah. wanted to rewrite, uh, they called me yesterday. The the, the middleman, uh, I guess he's like the manager of this, and he's like, I was trying to reach you on Friday, I couldn't reach you. I was like, yeah, I was traveling, and he's like, yeah, they read your shit, they 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 want to go with you, they want to pay you to oh, do nice. the whole thing. So I was like, oh fuck, I was right. The uh, what they wrote was garbage. Yeah. Is that a, how a, how much money? It's are not we a lot. About? It's not a lot. But and the guy's like, oh, because it's not a lot, I don't want to take commission. And I said, no, no, you're still gonna take it. It's not your fault. Yeah, it's not. That's not your problem, you know. And I'm just doing it just to get my foot in the door. I go, yeah. so I'll do it. It's easy work for me anyway. Are you unbuttoning everything? How you really are hot? Are you sweating? Yeah. Are you fucking unbuttoning to here? He's becoming. You started the the podcast. You were a young professional. You're gonna end the podcast. You're fucking Kid Rock. You're a chubby Kid Rock. Yeah, you, you should. Yeah. Next You're next conversation, rock. we'll just hear <laughs> ball with a ball to bang to bang. <laughs> Well, it's very hot. God damn, it's not hot at all. I'm wearing a fucking Raping jacket. Raping my mom He's in wearing, the back eye window. I'm wearing leather. He's wearing a leather jacket. Why can, am I can, so hot? Can someone do a Photoshop of him Jesus, as fuck. Kid Cock? Yeah, Kid Cock. <laughs> <laughs> I heard. Or I already paid for you. Oh, oh you did. Oh, I heard a record that ball with the ball, the bang, the bang. We're gonna game. have to burn those headphones too, because they're yeah. like I, I can them. see the sweat. I didn't know headphones had pores. Yeah. The the sweat is coming through the headphone. Oh, that is rough. Oh, Jesus, fucking. Oh, God uh, damn. I'm trying to. Oh, Jesus, down, bro. Is this, wiping, Jesus. is this why you went for the blood test? You think you have something? This is crazy. I don't know. I, I, you sweat through your shirt. I feel fine. You, yeah. How do you feel Move. fine? What are you yeah. doing? He's like, like, I feel is, fine. He's taking off yeah. all his clothes. Goes, I, uh, yeah. I feel fine. Yeah. <laughs> what are you fucking insane? <laughs> Poseidon, you've lost 48 pounds in the last <laughs> nine days. I feel good, though. <laughs> I saw a man whipping yeah. his dick out, peeing in his car. It's a great week. I sucked on it. We shared a needle. <laughs> yeah. I don't know oh, what Jesus happened. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. I feel like taking he, this off. Take it off, yeah, man. Take You're it t- off. It's already Fucking, off, basically. Yeah, yeah. 
At this point, it's already yeah, off. Yeah, fucking. I've yeah. Sweat stains. Look the, yeah, yeah take it off so you don't yeah. soak oh, yourself. I guess. Yeah, sweating. but you, you you can you can take my it off. My tits are sweating. Yeah, yeah. Look, look at this. yeah. You have boob sweat. What's wrong with me? You have, so you, you, you can, like a chick. Yeah. You have boob sweat. You can take it off anyway. You know. <laughs> this is why the ladies oh, watch. God oh, I feel it. better. I feel like better. You know what's good right now? Our yeah. demographic shifted. It's yeah. so good, bro. We got every woman viewer on YouTube right now switching. Like, what? Oh my yeah. god. Yeah. He's is not that, the only one that's that soaking wet right now. Under teeth sweat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the boob sweat. And you were worried about your but nipples? Just, throwing just through? If, I was if, worried about all that shit if, throwing if, through. <laughs> if I can just defend him for one second. Yeah. On that side, it's sweat. On that side, it's actually milk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know how that Thank happened. You, Mike. <laughs> just take off your wife beater at this point. There's no point. Yeah. <laughs> and then you can use it to wipe underneath the... Yeah. yeah. I feel better, though. though. I feel better. Yeah, you feel better. <laughs> yeah. This is normal behavior. Yeah. <laughs> you should do when you're renting cars. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, who's next? Cigarette in his mouth, wife beater? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Where I'm I? in work mode. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Oh my. He's so drinking it beer. Look at it. It would seem that Banatant is not a member of, this of the Mormon group. church. The sir, uh, no. Oh. Of the Bon Voyage. They're just group, being an right? assholes. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah. They're being dicks. They're while just, you were saying maybe this isn't Quebecois Mormons. Or yeah, but it's Quebecois the thing else. I really like about that hotel though is in the in the. Um, in the bathroom, there's a tub that you could like. You could be with the girl in the tub. It's huge, and it's a tub that's about uh, like four feet deep. It's yeah, three or four feet deep, and it's like three, like it's at least four feet wide and three feet high. So it, it takes like. So your mom could get stuck bed yeah, over the side and, of and it. And there's uh, <laughs> you can be two people because the 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 water comes out through these little slides that come through the side. So it's really cool. So what you're saying is. After I fuck her, I could drown her. Yeah, that's in your sweat. Yeah, that's exactly, exactly what I said. Yeah, <laughs> she's gonna drown as soon as she tries to lick your chest. Off. <laughs> if you're on top, she's definitely drowning. She's trust me, she's she's gonna drown in her own wetness when yeah. she sees this. Yeah. It's like when it's never happened before. When she did, did anybody sees... tell Poseidon that there was a video yeah. element to this podcast? <laughs> Why the fuck would he take he, off his shirt? Yeah, he's well I, aware. Seriously, you have the same tits as my 10-year-old yeah. daughter. You're not gonna... <laughs> Is it raining men, Poseidon? <laughs> Do you want a little fucking I'm umbrella? a dancer. Like, I'm a goddamn professional yeah. dancer. I, I, before I yeah, forget, you know what you uh, said about it's like Saudi Arabia because they're blocking? <laughs> I found out that wrestling, uh, Miss McMahon's people, WWE, they go to Saudi Arabia, want, they have like a huge deal with yeah. them. And last week, apparently, they did their first ever women's match because they don't want to see broads fighting in Saudi Arabia. They're like, get them off the fucking... They put them in full... They were wearing clothes, like sweaters, and then t-shirts over. Like, they looked like giant children fighting. And they still got mad, the Saudis, and they detained all the WWE people at the airport. Uh, and now the wrestlers are saying to Vince McMahon, fuck you, we never want to yeah. go back there again, but it's worth millions of deals. So he's flipping out. Mm. Yeah. The Saudis, oh, yeah, the Saudis fucking detained them. They kept their passports and shit. Wow. So they prefer to watch men in their underwear. Yeah, yeah. What a bunch of yeah. fuck. Look, that, but that's what it is. Like, we don't want women or any of these homos fighting here. Oh. Bring back the half-naked guys. What yeah. did I read, though? Like, uh, <laughs> in Pakistan. Yeah. In Pakistan. I sent it to you. Yeah, it's one of the most strict countries uh, for uh, for gay people. It's one of the most homophobic countries Homophobic, yeah, sorry. Uh, but it has the most searches for gay porn yeah. on Pornhub. Yeah. It's in, <laughs> it's, it's actually research the, for the fucking It's uh, It's the uh, number one per capita. But uh, number one worldwide is still you. <laughs> <laughs> but isn't that amazing that they're like, oh, we, we can't have these gays around here. And yeah. then they're online. They're like, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's what they do. I think that, Research. I'm just doing research, mom. <laughs> but maybe, like, I, I just realized <laughs> yeah, now. I'm going to join the police in Pakistan. Like, like I never believed that, uh, uh, that ho homophobes were all secretly gay. But maybe if you're so homophobic and you... That's all you think about. You become ob obsessed by it. Yeah. So you're like the that fucking like I don't know if you've ever hated a band, but then you ended up liking them, kind of liking them because you're like I fucking hate that. And then you think about it, think about it, and then you end up going, oh, that good. <laughs> oh, <it's> like, <laughs> so yeah. that might be it. It's like that new catchy song that comes out. You're like I fucking hate this song. Yeah, I hate fucking this song, stupid. Fucking... And then you yeah. listen. Oh, I that, suck like this. like Old Town Road. First time I heard Old Town Road, I was like, I fucking hate this song. It's, it's catchy, so stupid, though. stupid, but it's very catchy. Oh fucking, I, I know the words. And then it became, I fucking hate this song. <laughs> and then now I I hadn't heard it in like a month. I heard it yesterday, and I was like, I like this song. I like it. I like <laughs> you know yeah, why? Because now it's familiar. Yeah. I don't think it's the same thing with with you can't. With gays? Yeah, you can't turn gay. It's there. No. You know, it it has 
to do, I think, with the fact that they're so suppressed, you know, repressed rather, and uh, they're like, I don't know, like, man. After you know, I sucked my ninth dick, I was like, maybe I could get into this. Could you imagine <laughs> if that's the question they ask? Have you ever sucked so many dicks you question your sexuality? No, I would have questioned after the first one. I would have. But that's fucked up. That's the most Google. That's the most you porn searches that they get out of that country. Pakistan. Gay sex. Yeah. Yeah. Like when I was in Afghanistan, uh, the. The, the the guys there, like, they had the Man Love Thursdays, so they'd fuck each other on Thursdays. But it's not gay cause if you do it on Thursdays. It's Thursday. not gay because it it's Thursday. I thought it was Tuesdays. No, no Tuesday is super gay. Yeah. <laughs> super gay <laughs> Tuesday. <laughs> are you crazy? Don't do that shit on Tuesday, Super gay bro. Tuesday. <laughs> what are you, Tuesday, some kind of a fag bro you do on Tuesday? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. On Tuesday, you're getting stoned, bro. Yeah, yeah. you're getting but stoned. But the... <laughs> The Afghanis, they fucking loved porn, so the, the soldiers would give them porn. But the thing they hated the most was uh, when a woman got her pussy eaten. So then they'd always, they'd edit the, the clip to get that uh, part out get that part out but then when the when it became really hot they put that part back in just so the guy would be like ah fucking like they, <laughs> oh, they thought hilarious. that was disgusting imagine really? watching a woman's vagina get eaten they thought that was disgusting hmm. well you would think that if you fuck dudes maybe yeah Right? If every Thursday you fuck a guy. If you lived in the desert where yeah, bats yeah, a, were a once place, a month. Yeah. Once oh, there's a month. that too. A place where you, yeah, you wash your vagina with sand. <laughs> <laughs> How is he swallowing yeah, all yeah. that sand? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I get it. Yeah. And they did, they, yeah. <laughs> I don't new, know. New movie Apparently that was only Jesus funny Christ. for me. And they... Sand Gina. Yeah. <laughs> sand, yeah. sand Gina. Sand Gina. <laughs> like, hey, baby, it's your birthday. Take that Sand Gina out. <laughs> the, the capital of Saskatchewan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know how fucking crazy that must be, dude? It's to like eat, a book. To eat a pussy that's been washed with sand is it hurts your throat and you're like always like. <laughs> <laughs> you got to rinse your mouth out. Yeah, you're like a cat. Tangy. Sandy is better than tangy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tangy. Pussy is that? Yeah. No. What's tangy? You know, tang like tastes like, like pennies. You know the smell in the air at no, the pennies. fish the, at the fish fire. Pennies, that's iron. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's like the type. What he means is this: like the smell or taste that, like you you go down on the girl and you lick once and then you just end up fingering her and <laughs> licking her leg <laughs> and gagging into her fucking leg. Go. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> That's a... I've uh, I've taken off a girl's uh, pants one time, and I just got a whiff, just like oh god, yeah, stop it! I have a very weak Did... gag reflex. You know why you, you smelt the whiff? Cause she shit her pants. Cause you didn't know she was gonna. Pull, oh, you were gonna pull her pants down. She got scared. She was yeah. like, I wanted to rent a car. <laughs> <laughs> is this how you guys do business? <laughs> I'm taking my business to dollar. <laughs> That's the scenarios yeah. I always envision so, Poseidon. I always envision him doing something somewhere where he's not supposed to. Like taking his clothes off, you know, and like maybe jerking off. And like, so this is a pharmacy. <laughs> he's like, I thought this is where the doctors hang out. This is where I'm allowed to show my dick. Oh, God. <laughs> so, yeah. So, so you were with a girl. You pulled her pants down and it smelled really strong. Yes. Of shit or no no like the, the pussy smell was bad, it was very bad and then she goes uh, <laughs> very bad. Well, you became Borat for some reason. I like. Wow 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 wow. Oh good, it's been washed with sand. Yeah. It's good. Oh shit. And uh, and then she looks at me. And she goes, "Well." I go, what? She goes, aren't you going to eat it? Nothing is well about this. Oh, and she I was, was like, just aren't you fucking with you. It? She was, that means it's a girl that didn't want to have sex with you that got some sort of infection. And then she Oof. was like, this fucking guy's going <laughs> to stop hitting on me. <laughs> like That's a cat. A, He's going to lick yeah. the infection away yeah. like a cat. Did you eat her out? <laughs> no. <laughs> Ugh. Did you, you fuck her though? Yes. Ah, oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> and that's why he had to go to the hospital last week for those blood tests. What? Yeah. No. Did you, like, how that long was, was it? That was the most <laughs> cartoon lie ever. That's uh, when he started ever. swelling under his yeah. Yeah, He's like, what? Yeah. No. Of course not. Me steal? Never, officer. That's what it was like. Did, did, I sounded did, like Luigi. Did your dick smell after? I work on them. You, you work what? on them. Good. Yeah, I heard I worked on them. <laughs> I was like, worked on them <laughs> with some soap. Oh, yeah. you wore a condom. Yeah, wore yeah, a condom. Yeah. I worked yeah, on. Them. I, I, did, yeah, yeah. I worked Basi on. Them. I worked on. Them. Like, what? You fucking took like one of those half sponge, half bristle, and, I do and he thing. calls his dick him. <laughs> I do this I thing. Work. I do this thing where I, I speak so fast I skip over words. Good. This thing is very hard. Yeah. To do. 
I do this thing where it's, you know, I, I don't speak like a normal person. I have a speech impediment. It's a thing. Oh, man, you guys had me gagging there. Fuck, just that when he, I pulled out Rapana, and that fucking it hit me in my... Yeah. Oh, fuck. I'm like Sorry. that, too. Like, just the thing you did. Like, I can't see someone... Gag? Gag. Yeah, that's without... why I kept looking yeah. away. I, it, it fucks with me. Do you know yeah. Do you know Dave Martin? No. Toronto, he's a, he works with Darren Frost and that a lot. Okay. He's a dirty, just a dirty comic, whatever. He was dating this girl at one point. She was a really big girl. And uh, fuck, he was telling us the story. After it turned out, she was a psycho and stuff that he started talking shit about her. And he told us this story. Dude, I fucking literally was throwing up in my mouth. I was over and over. Because she was a big girl. Like, you know, like big girl. Poseidon level or bigger? Bigger than Poseidon. Whoa! No, like, you know those kind of girls that you're like. That's a big bitch. I have a, like, I'm not homophobic or (laughs) racist or any of that. but Debatable. You get to a certain level of bigness and I'm uncomfortable to be around you. Like, if you fall, I can't pick you up. Okay, okay. You're talking about like like, like, clinically morbidly obese. Like like she's on a scooter when she goes to Walmart? Mm, She will. She was in her 20s at the time. But she will be at at one point for sure. Anyway, he he was dating her. And it's like, I'm, you know whatever okay fine but he was talking about this like once she fell out of favor with all the comics because she worked in the comedy community <coughs> and <clears throat> he's telling the story and this is the most gaggy story ever i don't know why i'm telling your podcast to people about it but he's like oh yeah dude it was like one time if i can she liked sex a lot so we were having sex and uh like she took off her pant but it was still pretty daylight outside so we take off her pant and then she flip over like we were doing a normal, like missionary, or whatever, and then she flip over, and there was just shit right up her back. Oh, oh, Jesus. oh, oh. she went too oh. far when she wiped. <laughs> God damn it! Oh. Wow. Wow. Up her back, there was shit on her back. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Wait, she oh, couldn't, shitting she couldn't, upside down. She oh. couldn't reach or whatever, so Fuck. just fucking like just a smear. She had to shit. give us. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, he's like, well, we'll <laughs> so bro, I'm gonna puke. Stop it. <laughs> he's like, what could I do? What could I do? I had to fucking. Get... Oh, no. oh. We're all just gonna puke. Stop. Oh, so bad. <laughs> oh, that's fucking horrible. <laughs> the only happy uh, person uh, is Poseidon. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Look at Poseidon. Yeah. Poseidon. Do you know the moment Poseidon's yeah. like this? <laughs> I'm not alone. Yeah. <laughs> Other people <laughs> smear yeah. shit on their back too. Yeah. So okay. bad. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Oh, ah, fuck. You know how crazy that is for her, too? Oh, that when, when she was done wiping, like she wiped her ass, and she was like, Yeah, there's no more shit left. Yeah, yeah. Because you never check, like, so... when you're done wiping your ass, you never, you check never your go. <laughs> you never check your back. Yeah, yeah. It's a weakness. God damn. Oh, fuck. Oh, God, me, bro. And he just kept no. going? Oh, that's, yeah. That's when I think I would have just killed myself. Yeah. <laughs> you, don't, you, wanna, you know what? I've had a good life. He didn't, didn't want to embarrass her. He's oh, <laughs> Jesus. I would have thrown up on her back and I would have pushed her he on the might, ground. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, I would have. have. He I didn't want to embarrass I would have called him. animal control. Yeah. <laughs> and the reason why I tell this story is I, I got us up. We were in Newfoundland, and I got us a ride. This guy picked us up at the airport and everything. And then he got us hammered, and Dave threw up in the back of his car. I'm like, well, we have no more favors anymore. Yeah. Like I fucking hooked you up, and you threw up in this guy's car. So I'm telling this story. God every damn. Time I can. God damn. So it. he threw up in a guy's car, but he didn't throw up on her back. No, yeah. Imagine. That guy's car was more disgusting to him. <laughs> How much the, shit was in that the car? Fucking hippo with shit on her back. <laughs> God damn it. God oh. damn it. Oh. Fuck. Oof. Oh man, that's the story that yeah. gets me every time. I, I can't even tell it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I can't even tell the story without yeah. Yeah, I think we gotta close on that. I yeah. have to go to oh, Radio Canada anyway. Yeah, tell them to go fight. Uh, yeah. Oh. All right, well. Look, listen, guys, this is what you're going to do, all right? Derek Sagan is currently on tour. When are you not on tour? He's always on fucking tour. DerekSagan.com, right? DerekSagan.com, Amazing comedian. Go out and see him. Uh, You're you're still doing your Soft Seater tour? Uh, This week I am. Okay. Who knows what's happening. Okay. I'm doing two French shows this week. Which Oh, nice. Where? I know. One in uh, Chelsea, Quebec. Okay. uh, the, The Chelsea pub tonight. Do you want to say it? Yeah, because people are uh, probably French people listening. Chelsea pub tonight, and then uh, uh, in Timmins at uh, Collège Boréal on Thursday. It's a French show. And then uh, Friday, we're doing two shows at the Senator Hotel in uh, in Timmins. 
uh, Late Show added it's going to be dirty. And then Sudbury at the Trevi, something like that. Is the Sudbury shows. show French or English? English. Okay. So Thursday in, in Timmins is French. Friday it's English times two. And then Sudbury times two in English in Sudbury. Perfect. Very yeah. good. And You're going to be in sh- oh, and uh, something else you want to plug or? Abdul. No, that's good. And yeah, Abdul's with you. Abdul's, Abdul, but yeah. opening? We love yeah. Abdul. So we, get, we love thing. Abdul. Yeah. He's so the only show. have to drink yeah. and drive 20 minutes to get to Abdul's place, yeah. and then he could drive the rest. Yeah. <laughs> Smart. <laughs> Mike Ward is still on tour. Yeah. Uh, Mike Ward Noir, his French tour, is selling out everywhere. Yeah. Go check him out. This week he's going to be in St. Jerome. So if you're in St. Yeah. Jerome, check out Mike Ward. Um, MikeWard.ca. Mike Ward has the Mike Ward Suzukuti, number one French language comedy podcast on the planet. So go check that out if you're bilingual or if you're trilingual. As long as you speak French, yeah. check that out. If you uh, speak four languages, we don't want you. We don't you. need you. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, <laughs> fucking weirdo. <laughs> Unless you shit up your back. You can find uh, Tits McGee here on uh, at the Poseidon 69 online or Instagram. washing his nipples in a, in a fountain <laughs> no kidding no kidding he has a 69 in his Twitter handle yeah, I can't yeah, even what does. a shocker yeah, that yeah, is yeah. and you're gonna be in Sherbrooke you uh, in, uh, announced the show March or April uh, April April 3rd April 3rd I believe so get tickets online right now uh, get them as I guess a Christmas gift yeah. too. that's why we put them out early yeah, yeah. So and you're people... gonna sell that out too if you we'll sold see. out Quebec City in English Sherbrooke should be fine which, which is the uh, English people in Quebec there's like seven and you fucking sold out so they were Sherbrooke, all bilingual people understood both yeah. languages yeah they all they were francophones that spoke english Sherbrooke, very educated Sherbrooke is gonna sell out quick really all right yeah, yeah. i'm excited yeah listen to mike ward come out of that show pentelscomedy.com for all of my stuff anything else that we need to plug pierre where are you gonna be vomiting next uh <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't oh, know. so remember watch uh, the shit on your back and uh thank you guys for listening cheers Perfect. god damn